I'm going to be a mad scientist today. Would you like to be a mad scientist with me too? Make sure you're subscribed and let's go! We're going to have so much fun today being mad scientists, Rosie. I know, isn't it awesome? It is. And inside of here are 10 mad experiments. Ooh, cool. We can make a mad blood spitting heart. Ooh, wow. We can mix jiggling slime. Ooh, I like slime. Me too. We can mold and make bouncy eyeballs. Ew. <laughs> we can graft horrible wounds. Cool. We can mold poo and more. Ew, disgusting. <laughs> Come on, let's check out what's inside. Oh yes, awesome. Here's our instructions booklet. Wow. It's got all the instructions we need to make our crazy science. <gasps> and there are some fun facts there too. Will you read the fun facts for me please, Rosie? Of course I will. I'd love to. Thank you. What else do we get? We get lots of stuff. Look, there's an amazing heart mold. Oh, isn't that awesome? Oh, and here's a poo mold. Oh, there's lots of stuff inside. Oh, there's blue crystals and white crystals. And that looks like it could be slime oh, and eyeballs and glue and crazy clay and lots of dye. Wow, and some awesome goggles. We are going to have to wear goggles. This is going to be so cool. Are we ready, Rosie? We are ready, Aki. OK, tell everybody the important stuff. OK, as with all science projects, please use the goggles provided and make sure your clothes are well covered. I've got the goggles on and my clothes are well covered. What would you like to do now, Rosie? Oh, a vomit pool, I think. It sounds awesomely disgusting. <laughs> OK. We have to take small amounts of the brown crazy clay. Just sultana types. Pea-sized. There we go. We need to make six of them. Cool. I'm doing it on a plate, just to be careful. Or you can do it on the greaseproof paper. Can I give you some vomit facts first? Sure you can, Rosie. Cool. Your brain tells you it's time to vomit. And you can vomit just by watching someone else doing it. Ha! Oh, didn't know that. OK, so we've got six. Now we have to squash them, just like Sultanas. Mm. And then we need to just place them around our plate, exactly where we want them. Ooh, now what, Aki? Now we add a little bit of green slime. Ooh! Oh, wow! <laughs> Ew, Aki, that looks disgusting. It really does look at like a vomit pool. Ooh! <laughs> and what else do we do, Aki? Then we just add some maggots on top. Oh, that's gross! <laughs> there we go. There's your vomit pool. Now, all you have to do is find some unsuspecting individual and leave it lying around. <laughs> Very naughty. OK, Rosie, what shall we do now? Ooh, let's do slimy snot. It sounds so disgusting. <laughs> OK. For our slimy snot, we need to get a clean tissue and just wrinkle it up a bit. And then take our slime and very carefully take tiny bits of snot and just put it on the tissue. Let me give you the snot facts. Snot is produced to protect your body from germs, dust and pollen. It acts as a kind of filter trapping bad particles that could otherwise make their way into your lungs. Snot also acts as a cleaning solution, washing away germs. Ew! Aki, that looks gross! It does! Ooh! Now all you have to do is pretend to sneeze and leave the tissue lying around so somebody sees it. Oh, that sounds gross! But great fun! <laughs> What's next, Rosie? Ooh! I think spots, boils and pasaki. OK, so we take a little bit of the clay and we roll it into a ball. 
And then we put that ball on some of the grease poop paper and we flatten it out. Then we take a little instrument like a pencil and make a hole in it. Make sure the hole doesn't go all the way through. And what are your spotty facts, Rosie? Well, lots of horrible bacteria multiply and block themselves underneath your skin's surface. The red area around the spot is blood cells rushing to repair the tissue. A spot can be a mixture of dead cells, oil and bacteria. Ew, sounds horrible. There we go. Now it's time for some glue. <laughs> And we take our red glue pen and add a little dot in the middle. And we leave it to dry. Ooh, okay. That looks horrible. <laughs> well, our boils are dry. And all we need to do is take our sticky dots, which are super sticky, <laughs> and stick them on. Ew, what do you think? Oh, Aki, it's disgusting. I don't like them at all. I don't think yours are very good. What do you mean you don't think mine are very good? I think mine's better. <laughs> don't I look awesomely disgusting? <laughs> it really is. What's next, Rosie? Oh, mad eyeballs, I think, Aki. I've been dying to see what they're like. OK, let's make these mad eyeballs. Oh, yes, please. First of all, we have to drop one of these tiny little black dots into each of our eyeball makers. Cool. Now, we have to open up our blue crystals and put a tiny bit of the blue crystals in each. Ooh, are they going to be blue eyes, Aki? I think they are. Oh. <laughs> it's a packet inside of a packet. Yes, it is. Right. Let's take a little bit and put it in there. And do you have any fun facts for us on the mad eyeballs, Rosie? I do. The human eyeballs are approximately two and a half centimetres in length. Cool, huh? Very cool. And the iris controls the amount of light that enters into the eye and it also, also determines the colour of your eyes. That's super important. It really is. And now we've got to open the white crystals. Ooh. Now we've got to fill these white crystals all the way to the top. So let's see if we can do that. Right, we need to be super careful. Now, we've got to push the crystals down as far as they'll go and then drop them in water for three minutes. Oh, wow. Let's start counting. Three whole minutes. <laughs> okay, our eyeballs have been in water for three whole minutes. Shall we see what's inside? Oh, yes, please. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, cool. Oh, how good is that? <laughs> it looks very cool. And it's very squidgy. And let's have a look at the other one. Oh, super cool. Wow, that's amazing. This one's a little bit difficult to get out. There it is. Wow. <laughs> Bouncy eyeballs. I love it. Oh, Aki, they look awesome. They are so cool. I can't see the little black bits there. No, they, I can't see them either. Hmm. We'll try and figure out how we can see them. Maybe we could dig a little hole there. Oh, that's a good idea, Aki. Then we'll be able to see them. I think they're just underneath. Yes, I can see them there. Oh, it's so cool! Now, let's make them super frightening by using our glue pen and putting some red veins on them. <gasps> oh, yeah! Wow, that does look scary, Aki. Now, don't forget this is glue, so afterwards we've got to wait for it to dry again. Oh, it's a bit boring waiting for them to dry. 
I know, but it'll be worth it. I suppose so. Okay. Oh, that is scary. Aki, that looks gross. And for the other one. Oh, super scary. Wow, yeah. They look super scary, Aki. Let's make the smelly poo. Okay, let's do this. Here's our brown crazy clay. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting as it is. Wow. <laughs> That's quite cool though. There's our mold. Let's put it into our mold. Right, so we have to keep on adding. Yes, we do, Aki. Okay. Ooh, it's gross. <laughs> right, there we go. Now we need to leave it to dry overnight and then we can add the finishing touches. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And our poo's dried overnight. Isn't it disgusting? Oh, it really is disgusting. It looks horrible. <laughs> now we've got to add the finishing touches. Okay. I've got a tiny bit of water in our test tube and I'm going to add some red dye to it. Oh, it's powder, Aki. Yes, it is. Now, let's mix it up with a paintbrush. Oh, it's like horrible blood. It is. And let's just add tiny little marks to our poo to make it look extra disgusting. Ew, that really does look extra disgusting. It does, doesn't it? I'm going to put our red dye in here and take some clean water and add some green dye. Or some kind of green. And then we can add some of that too. Oh, Aki, that looks horrible. Now our poo is ready. Cool. We can put it anywhere we want. It will frighten everybody. I think it probably will. <laughs> Now what are we doing, Rosie? Oh, Aki, it's time to mould a heart. Okay, so now I've got all our crazy clay and I'm going to put it in the mould. I'm going to start off with the red. And do you have any heart fun facts for us? I do, Aki. The heart is made up of four chambers. The left atrium, the right atrium, the left ventricle and the right ventricle. There are four valves in the human heart and they ensure that the blood goes only one way, either in or out. Cool, huh? I love the heart. <laughs> Me too, Rosie. Now, let's try the blue. Ooh, that looks so cool. Is that where the colours go, Aki? I'm not sure, Rosie but at least we'll have an awesome coloured heart. That's true. <laughs> Very cool clay, isn't it, Aki? Very cool. I like it. It feels funny. It feels squeaky. Okay, I think we're done. Let's turn it over and see. Wow, we're going to have a pretty colourful heart. We need to leave it overnight to dry. Cool. Well, it didn't dry overnight. It's taken two days to dry, but finally our heart is ready. All we have to do is add some finishing touches. Let's take our blue glue pen and draw some veins on it. Blue veins? They must be blue blooded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks really real, Aki. Not that I know what a real heart looks like but it looks how I imagine it to look like. And I'm not sure we'll see them very well, but let's do some red too. Oh yes, okay. There we go. There's our amazing heart. Oh, it looks good, Aki. Oh wow, today has been awesome being a mad scientist. I hope you've had fun being a mad scientist too. Come back soon and we'll have more fun. I'll see you then. 
Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. We'll see you soon.